the architect for the Bob Marley School for the Arts and we're going up to the Skyline Club we're at the old Republic building on Michigan Avenue downtown Chicago we're going to do it? yeah <laughs> <laughs> Empress Jennifer <laughs> Empress Ivy <laughs> Brother Bernie oh yeah <laughs> We're jumping up and down about this music uh, viewing of the first draft of the Bob Marley School for the Arts. Okay. What floor? What floor? All right, page three. Cool. Going up to the Skyline Club. Man, this is really cool. First draft of the Bob Marley School for the Arts. We get. I'm so excited to be at this point after 10 years. I remember um, we were trying to find an architect in Jamaica and we could not because um, they didn't think they were qualified enough to do something like this. And um, I met the, the gentleman from the U.S. Department of Commerce and they put a little blur in their book and home and say, yeah, he is the person for this. And home and we've broken for the food to Jamaica, oh, man. <laughs> Look at the side and say, man, this is unbelievable. It was because of Bob way. <laughs> oh, this is happening. Man. Today we're here, he said, man, I remember we have having lunch together. Last time I was here and the woman said to me, you know, Astor, I feel like the book is still open and we have to put a closure to this. It, as it, those words were like music to my ear. <laughs> and you know what I've been thinking about, Bob? I, I worked for, I lived in Chicago for 20, about 25 years, and um, I have a travel agency, do radio and television here in Chicago, promoting Jamaican music. And we have one art school in Jamaica, which is on the southern side of Jamaica, it's in Kingston. And every child with a little voice had to go all the way to Kingston to go learn how to sing. So I said, no, man, this is not right. We have to do something on this side of town, which is Montego Bay, where I'm from. Uh, um, uh, Jason, the best designer, the graphic designer I know, man, we have been friends for years. I said, I said, Jay, we have to put a presentation together to the Bob Marley Foundation to develop a school in Bob's name. And Jason, the best thing, man, I presented to the Bob Marley Foundation the, so the gentleman who was the head of the foundation then, um, Neville Garrett, you probably see him in some film getting shot with Bob. <laughs> he said, You know, the presentation got an A. Thinking of school, the presentation got an A. So they accepted it and then the foundation looked it over and they said, Yes, Bob School. This is Marley. said, Yes, I'll be on the board of directors for the Bob Marley School. And we started at home and flew to Jamaica. And he said, Today, Ten years later, we're sitting here and like, man, <laughs> feel good. And thank you, woman, and thank you, Carol, for joining woman and I've been so excited to be your calls to Jamaica, <laughs> man, you know. First Street, Second Street, Paul Marley, Trench Town, is like, very excited, man. And thank you very much for coming on board to help me, my dreams. Thank you very much. I'm Government don't want to see a Bob Marley school bill on, on government land. So I sent a proposal to burn two families, brother, brother, their family came to Jamaica. I don't know if Bernie remember, but 
I stopped talking. Bernie said, well, tell me, Asta, what you want to do? So I got into my speech for three lines, and Bernie and Carl took over. I just said, I listened very dreamy to what the boss could do. I didn't need to sell it for us. We were in Seoul. And today we're here. I'm excited to learn for being a brother and a sister. He was all from the heart, too. <laughs> so, thank you very much. And, you know, this team, this partnership is like a dream come true, man. Thank you very much. Thank you.